Tulsa fire captain resigned late this afternoon. He's accused of shooting and killing a neighbor's dog. Tax day is now behind us. You may be wondering how long you should hang on to those tax-related papers and documents. A big game tonight. Game yeah. five, as you mentioned there, is a must-win situation for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Our sports guys, Rick and John, have been Miami all week. A big game tonight. I want to tell you, Rick and John, I've been hydrating all day today <laughs> so I don't cramp up tonight. <laughs> People are just kind of walking around in a daze. I know it's a cliche, but it's like a bomb dropped right here for miles around. It's like a war zone. Well, good news for Tulsa Public Schools. They just received 600 grand from an anonymous donor. Well, we have less than two weeks before big changes come to Tulsa's trash service. You complained a lot with the 100 degree heat. I, Remember all those days, like 43 <laughs> days uh, this summer? I tried not to Doesn't complain look so bad too now, much, does it? but yeah. I am kind of missing it. It's wet, it's cold, it's gloomy here in Stillwater and also sad. Now, sadness has gripped this OSU campus as the university pays tribute and honors those killed in last week's plane crash. And you can tell where the uh, the tornado skipped over and went over some trees. The tops of the trees are off, but the houses are fine. Chief Meteorologist Frank Mitchell joined us now with the latest of what could be a dangerous 48 hours. Hi, Frank. The big guy joined us now, the manager of the Tulsa Drillers, Dwayne Espy. Thanks for being with us tonight. You've been through this many, many, many times for home openers. You still get the jitters. Saving money on that trip to the grocery store takes more than just cutting out coupons. That certainly helps. We didn't have to wait long to catch a driver who didn't belong in a handicapped parking spot. You know what the fine is now? No. If they enforce it, it's $500. Is it really? And I understand the big guy may even be here. He's Ooh. trying to clear a schedule. The Are big you, guy, you know yes. who that is, don't you? Making an early appearance. That's We're right. To see Santa. I'm talking about uh, Frank Mitchell. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> Look at her belt buckle. Look at mine. Look at my shoes. Look at her boots. Who do you think has the edge today in uh, today's Anchor Challenge? <laughs> All right, wraps it up here. A depressing night for the Sooners <laughs> and their fans. Jubilant Woo! night for Kristen and all the OSU fans. 44-10 yeah. the final. Let's, uh, Sorry, it was a good game. You played let's well. Let's warm up now. Get in line and fight the traffic back to Tulsa. Back to you, Yvonne. Good afternoon. First on eight, Green Country is awash with rain. Yeah, Frank has been tracking some nasty weather over the past 24 hours. Uh, we set a record, Frank. Why not? All right, thanks, Frank. In other top news tonight, more earthquakes rattle houses and nerves here in Oklahoma. The first one came last night. Foundation repair companies are getting a lot of calls from homeowners worried about the earthquakes. Yeah, they say the shaking your home took could mean structural damage. Channel 8's Kim Jackson did some checking to help you locate any issues. Not every home experiences damages. Age could be a factor, but experts say there is nothing you can do to prevent a crack from forming. A six-year-old is left to fend for himself after being abandoned at his bus stop. It happened in Cleveland yesterday. A multi-county drug crackdown that's 305 offenders here in northeast Oklahoma. Oklahoma's Bureau of Narcotics teamed up with local police to seize 10 meth labs. A police officer in Owasso is being honored for his bravery. Last year, Detective Jason Woodruff stopped an armed robber at a gas station that ended with a shootout. Fed up with banks, a lot of consumers have recently thought about moving their money. Yeah, in fact, a social media movement declared last Saturday Bank Transfer Day. No matter how you feel about big banks, is it worth it for your bottom line? Here's more in tonight's money coverage you can count on. Looking forward to that. That is a place to be right now if yes. you love country music. Les, you yeah. do. Yeah, so. I love it. I listen envious, to it all stunning. the time. Yeah. yeah. All right, coming up next, some amazing video captured of an Oklahoma twister. Yeah, check it out. Take a look at this. Talk about driving into danger. Storm chasers had the cameras rolling when they encountered this tornado here in Oklahoma. Twister literally crossed the street right in front of them. Much of southwestern Oklahoma spent part of Monday under tornado watches and warnings. Forecasters say some of the storms packed winds of more than 100 miles an hour. Mm, wow. So here's a good question. Can your dogs warn you ahead of time before an earthquake? Well, since Friday. And no tornadoes. Yeah, we need to dry out too, don't we? Yeah, can you imagine we're saying that? <laughs> yeah. That's rare for us to say. All right, thanks, Thank Brian. you. Well, coming up, Mike Gundy's trying to figure out which Texas team he's going to be playing this, playing against this weekend. Plus, Penn State is rocked by scandal. Can Joe Paz survive the controversy? We'll have the latest. Mm -hmm. All of the little squares mean something different, and the players know what it means, but no one else does. Yeah, a few teams are using yeah. that. It's yeah. confusing. Oregon does it quite. I think that Oregon was the first one to do it, but yeah, it's a little confusing. It's confusing. The whole idea is to be confusing. <laughs> That's right. It? All right, yeah. thanks, Ray. That's our news tonight. Thanks for watching. Chuck, I've never seen anything like this before. You know, parts of the city are completely unrecognizable, total devastation. 
Now, cars and trucks are stacked and strewn everywhere. Power lines are down. People are just walking aimlessly, uh, searching through the rubble. And to top it off, the weather has been horrible today. We're inside the satellite truck now because there's too much lightning outside to be safe to be outside right now, and it's been raining all day today. It is a very sad, sad sight for so many people. But we've had a lot of tornadoes, but this is the worst tornado we've had. 83-year-old Mary Hazelbaker and her sister can't help but stare at the rubble of what was Mary's home for nearly half a century. She fought back tears as she thought about the tragedy. I just feel like crying. <laughs> I do. I'll probably try, cry tonight about it. I like that tree. See that tree? It's over 100 years old. That's an oak tree. That's an oak tree. I couldn't even get my hands around it. Okay. I was at church when it happened. I wasn't here. My horse was not I was right here. Right here at the salon. Right here at the salon, Mary. Well, I remember you. Oh, no. Mary's grief has plenty of company. Homes and businesses, as far as the eye can see, destroyed, including a beauty salon right next door. Were you prepared for this this morning to see this? No. No. You can't. I don't think you can be prepared for this. I don't think I don't, it's too overwhelming. <laughs> like so many others, Mary's life will never be the same. I asked her what she's going to do now. Her reply, I don't know. You tell me. All of it's all gone. It's all gone. Well, it, our life's all that matters, sweetheart. I'm just glad you're okay. Well, she's happy to be alive. Now, sorry for this, but it's really coming down right now. I want to tell you a quick story. I met a woman about an hour ago. She was trapped in a medical building just on the other side of the street from, this is St. John Hospital we've heard a lot about and seen about. She was trapped there for 30 minutes, and she saw a hole in the ceiling where she could uh, wave some insulation, and some kids saw her and rescued her. And today she said, I'm still looking for my car. It's nowhere in the parking lot, and it could be anywhere. Just uh, another example how powerful this storm was yesterday. Chuck? Well, Mark, if you look at the sort of the developed part of Joplin there, it's hard to get an overview. Uh, the areas that have been badly damaged, 20, 30, 40 percent of the city, can you put a, a quantity on it for us? Well, I've heard from an official 30 percent of Joplin has had significant or major damage. Now, if you just go a little ways this way, there's no, no problem. You know, there's no damage at all. And, and you can tell where the, uh, the tornado skipped over and went over some trees. The tops of the trees are off, but the houses are fine. So you can tell where the tornado skipped over the houses and went on. But there's like a mile wide of destruction and several miles long. So anywhere you look where we are right now, I call this ground zero. Um, there is destruction everywhere here, Chuck.